What's up guys? So someone wrote to me and asked me how do I conceptualize and view the gods and so I don't know if I've ever touched on this subject of how I personally view the gods when it comes to just in daily life or worship or in just conscious thought. So I thought that'd make a really cool video. So with that said, this is all personal opinion and of course everyone is going to agree. And there'll be some that had, I should say some will disagree and some will agree. It's just a person to person experience and their views are always different and we're always unique. So this is just my personal views on how I conceive and conceptualize, view, say what you will, the gods. And with that said, I wrote notes. So I'm going to be looking down a lot, but I'm going to read it to make sure that I express how I truly feel because I wrote it down and how do I conceptualize the gods and how do I view the gods and this is basically it okay so it says um, so I wrote that I, I see the gods as individual immortal conscious energies kind of in another dimension uh, as in you can't physically see them there they can be present but not with our physical eyes with no true sex or gender in the traditional term. I say conscious to say that I believe that they can hear us, speak to us, and interact willingly with people and the universe. They can speak to our hearts, visit us in dreams, or make signs, quote unquote, happen to prove their existence. They can help people, or they can use signs to make a point. They are not unconscious elements or literal things like lightning and fire, but think of it more of the conscious spirit behind such elements. When it comes to male and female terms, I view the gods as having no true gender, as in no penis and no literal vagina, but possessing masculine and feminine qualities, maybe both or maybe none. How people nowadays will post about the kind of atmosphere that they feel whenever you give offerings and rituals about a god and how they feel when the God is present. The gods can let themselves be known and being in their presence can give you an idea of their energies. An example being that Aphrodite gives a feminine uh, sensual energy, for example. I see traditional myths as metaphor and not reality, so it goes back to that whole gender issue. Since I don't believe that Zeus, for example, is a, is a physical male with a literal penis, means that I do not believe that he raped women or cheated on his wife, Hera, for example, again, as the myths would say. But there are stories to be told and you find the, um, the meaning behind the stories, not the actual actions. And so, like I said, I don't view Zeus as a rapist. So I know that I've seen some say that how can you worship a rapist? Not just talking about Zeus, but talking about Poseidon, for example. And the answer is that I don't, because I don't take myths literal. So that's plain and simple. Okay. And um, when it comes to the traditional forms we know of when it comes to the gods, as in their physical bodies, I believe that people in history have had experiences with what I call these energies and have put a human form to the deities. We always create things we cannot fully understand in our image, which is, I mean, even up to this day, if we don't know it, we'll always put some kind of human t emotion or form to things we do not understand. Um, we didn't make or create the gods, I do not believe in that, but it is possible that we did put a physical body on the gods. Um, whether that is a person centuries ago had a vision a dream or they felt the energies or had the experiences and they put form to what they felt is possible so i do believe that but i do believe that the gods can take a physical human form if they choose to you know some people say they'll see so and so in the field or in a dream i do believe that they can take human form they may appear in this the traditional form or they can appear to people in your in they can blah, they can appear to people in unique bodies uh, or forms and that's why you'll always hear people talking about how they saw Hermes in their dream and he looks completely different than he did 
in someone else's dream. He can be in completely entirely another race than what tradition says or depicts him as. Because once again, it goes back to, again to them not really have physical bodies so they can show up as anything or anyone they want to. So what Hermes looks like to you, person A, may not be what he looks like to you, person B. And person Z might have a completely different look and who has not, for example, had an experience or exposure to what we call traditional Hermes. And um, so that person who's never seen a picture or a statue of Hermes and yet knows the stories or knows that the god Hermes is visiting him will have a completely different view of that, what Hermes looks like physically. So it's something to think about. <clears throat> so the point is, the main reason that the, they'll show up to different people in different ways is that the main point is that as long as you know who they are, that's what matters. And so it may be subconsciously the way you view them, but they'll show up to people how, uh, just so you know who they are. Anyway, guys, that's just a few notes and I could go on, I'm sure, but I just want to touch on the subject of how do I conceptualize or view the gods so to sum it up I believe they're all individual multiple what I call energies I guess is a very bad term for it but they're deities they are gods they are mortal so it's not if they're the same as they were centuries and centuries ago so it's the same Zeus it's the same what we call Hera and all that and they are conscious, they can hear prayers, they can answer and respond. They're not unconscious. Like I said, it's not literal fire and it's not literal lightning, but they are more of the spirits behind those elements, for example. Anyway, guys, this is just a short video to kind of put out there my views on deity and the gods and how I view them. And like I said, this is a person to person answer because everyone's going to have some things they agree with and disagree with, but that's the way it is. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope that I answered your question about um, how do I view the gods. Anyway, guys, again, I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.